Hey, welcome back. Okay, so what are themes in Drupal and how do we go about configuring these? All right, so um, I bet you by now you are really sick of staring at Bartik. And just as a reminder, Bartik is the default theme, the stand, the default enabled theme on a standard Drupal 7 installation. Um, so let's see what we can do with this theme. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Appearance button. And I know that because I've got the, the administration uh, menu uh, module installed, I get all these extra options here. But I'm just going to do things the slow way, just in case you're not using this module. Um, and so here we go. We are are on the appearance section here. I just clicked on appearance and this shows us an overview of the enabled themes. And let me just explain what's going on here. Okay. Um, enabled themes, it, themes, you can have themes that are installed on your website, but not currently enabled. And in this case, um, we have down here where it says disabled. These are the other themes. There's Garland and Stark that are two other themes that are currently installed on our website, but they're not enabled. Okay. Um, the theme that's installed and enabled on our site is Bartik. And this is the default theme, Bartik 7.22, 7.22 referring to the, the version number and it is our default theme and you may wonder just a mo for a moment here you may wonder what is the 7 7.22 what is this all about well this is currently an enabled theme but this is our administration theme uh, so yes just to make things complicated this actually allows you to uh, to choose one theme for the back the front end this is what your site visitors see and another theme for the back end um, and that's that's normal in Drupal that makes sense right you probably want to configure the way you see things things that you want that to be different than, than the front end. Um, I'm not going to bother changing seven. I think this is a perfectly fine administration theme. If you want to play around with this later, that's perfectly okay. But we're going to focus on what your site visitors see, which is really important. Okay. And that's Bartik. And so the first thing you might think of, it says a flexible recolorable theme with many regions. Okay. Um, how do we go about recoloring this theme? I like this idea of changing that. Maybe we're not a fan of blue. We're going to click on the settings button right here. And this will allow you to configure various various things. Anything that you can configure about Bartik, you can configure here. And Bartik, believe it or not, even though it's not a terribly flexible theme, you can actually change quite a bit in here. The first thing you can change is the color scheme. And the, the default color set, they call it a color set, is Blue Lagoon. But you could change this. Let's say you wanted to tr change it to Plum. Okay. What this is, is all the basic stuff on your site, your header top, header bottom, main background, sidebar background, all those different things automatically get changed to these different colors and you might be saying what is this hashtag blah 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 right there in a couple screencasts ago we saw this these are hexadecimal colors for numbers and you know to talk about hex colors for numbers a little outside the scope of this particular screencast series uh, but if you're curious about it just do google search or you can actually check out my html css um, uh, course uh, where i talk about uh, where i do talk about hex colors and how to how to what how they what they mean and etc cetera, etc cetera. so check that out when you have a chance but for now, I'm going to assume that you know what that is. Let's take a look what else. There's Firehouse here. Oh, that's more of a red theme. And you can see how all of these are sort of, there's various shades and they've been designed to be, it's kind of like a preset um, collection of, of colors that work well together for this particular. And then you've got Slate, so that's more of a gray thing. And notice as I'm changing this Ice, which is like a light gray, let's let's go back to Plum because I'm, I'm a fan of purple here. Um, okay, so we'll see down here if we scroll down, this is a bit of a preview. This gives you a sense of what your site is going to look like if you happen to switch to this theme. Notice we could even go to Custom and we could go in and we could use this color wheel to generate new things. I'm not going to bother doing that because that just seems like more work because I'm going to have to set colors for every single one of these. But let's just let's say that we really like this color scheme. That's cool. Okay, so there's a nice little preview. What else do we have? Well, we can actually enable or disable the display of different page elements in this theme. In this case, we'll see right here. There's a funny looking. This is the Drupal guy, little Drupal dude, and we could that's that little logo we could take out if we wanted to. Okay, um, and uh, or actually here we could do use the default. We could get rid of that user. We could upload our own logo if we wanted to. Okay, notice as soon as I do that let's say I go and save this configuration, I should see, yeah, there we go, it just got rid of it. So I, I got nothing against the Drupal dude, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like. I'm going to close that and look at that. Our site suddenly looks different. Our site is suddenly has a different color scheme. We got rid of the little Drupal guy, although we don't have any, we don't have 
have anything against Drupal Dude. He's just, we are just kind of explaining how to change things around. Let's go back to appearance and let's see what other options we have under the settings section here. I'll click on settings. What else can we do? We could, we could change it. We could get rid of the site name, the site slogan. Maybe you want to have some sort of upload. Maybe you, maybe your, your logo has your site name and logo in it already. So maybe you want to get rid of the site name and the slogan. Okay. There's all sorts of different options you can do here. Um, having said that, you're kind of stuck with these fonts. You're kind of stuck overall with, you know, like they, there's not a heck of a lot else you can change. It, you know, at first when you're getting, when you're starting with this, it seems like you can change a lot, but there's actually, you know, you're sort of, the the overall layout, the fact that these these tabs look like this, the fact that you've got a background there and then that and that, that's pretty much, you're kind of stuck with that, okay? Um, so let's say you wanted something different, okay? If you wanted to, if you wanted more, if you wanted the ability to control this even further, maybe you want to just change the look of this altogether. Maybe you want a different layout. Maybe you want different fonts. Like maybe you want a different type of menu structure. Um, then you'd want to look at different themes, okay? And installing a new theme aside from Bartik. And I'll be honest with you, most people will switch to a different theme. Most of the time, you won't go building your, your Drupal site in Bartik. You might want to, you know, you might do the structure in Bartik, but then eventually when you start tweaking the site design, you're probably going to be looking at installing a different theme. And that's going to be the subject of our next screencast. We're going to go and find out where do we find these Drupal themes? How do we go about installing and configuring them on our Drupal site? So stick around. In the meantime, I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you next time.